we hear a lot about entitled youth, spoiled kids, millennials, etc. But have you ever encountered entitled elderly? Funny how baby boomers are excused from the consequences of all the problems their generation created. Baby boomers often complain that millennials are lazy because when they, per grandparents, were our age, you could work a part-time job flipping burgers over the summer to pay for your college tuition, and going to college guaranteed you a job. Now, not so much. Good luck with paying for even your textbooks on a minimum wage salary. We're the hardest working, most educated generation. Yet because of the way the job market is, and the post-secondary education system is, we clearly aren't doing enough for ourselves. Must be because we're so fucking lazy. I work in a hospital, and see a lot of elderly patients. I can't count the number of times I have heard the whole respect your elders talk at really inappropriate times. For example I had a patient throw his full urinal bottle at me, flip tables and scream expletives, because he didn't like his room. I asked him to calm down, but I was told I should respect my elders, and I was a cunt, and he was going to rape me. I've had elderly women yell at me, because they are older than the other patients, so they deserve more attention. I've had an elderly patient's daughter barge in on a code blue, mid CPR, to complain that mom hasn't got her tea and biscuits, yet and she's been buzzing for 5 minutes, and it constitutes elder abuse. I've been told I know nothing, because I'm too young. That I'm going to hell, because I live with my partner, and I'm not married, I've been groped by old men. Working with the elderly is great at times, slash. I work in the villages Florida. The Wikipedia page says 50k residents, but with recent land acquisitions and expansion, that number is probably closer to 80 or 100k. 95% or so are senior citizens. And they're all over entitled spoiled brats. The world owes them. And if they don't get their way, they huff and puff, and shout at you until they do. Working there has made me incredibly bitter towards the elderly. I had to go and see my grandmother. She proceeded to tell me about how she had tried to get money off a charity, to help with the cost of having a new bathroom fitted. However when she was asked what her income and savings were, and was then told that she was several times over the limit to receive funds for both, she was disgusted. She genuinely believed that she was entitled because she was retired. Despite having a monthly pension income of around three times the national average salary and enough cash and savings to buy another house outright, she genuinely thought that she was entitled to a few hundred quid to go towards the cost of a new bathroom. I was disgusted. She also insists on claiming the winter fuel allowance. Why? Do you want to meet my parents? The people who will go on and on about the takers, and then brag about not paying taxes and exploiting medicare, are those the people you mean? All the fucking time. I work in a cafe in one of the more affluent areas in my city, and every time I work there, there is always two or three entitled 60 somethings coming, in making our lives difficult. Just today, a woman sent her toast back six times, and then complained her soup was cold, because she had been waiting for her toast. Like what the actual fuck, I had a look at the toast too, and they were all perfectly fine. It might be the wealth of the area, but they always expect you to go above and beyond for them, just because they are a customer. Another story from a while back. So a 60 something comes in and demands pancakes, my manager taking the order says that it isn't on the menu, and even if they would want him to order off the menu, that they didn't have the ingredients. He then insulted my manager, got up and stormed out of the building claiming to never come back. 15 minutes later he walks in like nothing happened, and orders something irrelevant off the menu. My manager just told him to get the fuck out, his face was the absolute best. I used to work at Starbucks many years ago, but we'd have this loud obnoxious older woman come in every morning, and walk up the front of the line, which was like 20 people deep, and insist on cutting in, and ordering before everyone. She'd try to tell you, that you are just so handsome and other ways to bullshit her way in. She would get pissed, when we said no. This same lady, by coincidence, had an office right next to my family's business. She broke all the rules of the business complex, kind of like a deed restricted neighborhood, and claimed she was allowed to break the rules, because she had a medical condition. She has got to be the most selfish, and entitled person I have ever known. My spoiled ex-girlfriend comes in at a close second though. 
my problem with the elderly, around 60 plus, is a general unwillingness to try something new, mostly modern technology, not every elderly person is like this, quite a few adapt easily, and approach the situation positively, and learn from it, but many are very stubborn and set in their ways. If they cannot use something, or they don't understand how it works then they will quickly demand that you solve their problem for them, and be very aggressive about the situation. I work in hotels and this building I'm at today has electronic check-in machines. You literally only have to type your surname on a big, easy to use touch screen and confirm some minor details about your booking, all with a big green yes key or red no key. It is all very simple and straightforward. Then your key is printed for you, with all the instructions about staying in the hotel I, e, room location, how to book dinner, who to see about extra linen etc. Most elderly people come across this and just, stop functioning. They call you over, they complain about it not working. You offer to show them how to use it, and they demand, that you do it for them. They get angry, that we have the nerve, to use these machines in the first place. Same goes with booking rooms. We offer a far cheaper rate via our website, and try to encourage people, to book on the internet. Sometimes elderly people will call me, and begin to complain about this. I have absolutely no issue with trying to talk them through the booking over the phone, to ensure they get the cheaper rate, but many many of them will get very aggressive and angry, and refuse to deal with the problem. A few days later we'll receive an aggressive handwritten complaint letter at company head office. I love it when an elderly person at least makes an attempt to use a computer, understands mobile phone technology, and knows how to use basic things like their television remote. I like to see older people at the cinema, watching modern films with lots of special effects and I like to see them making the most of the changing world around them. I like to see elderly people make an effort with new things. Almost fought to the death over a hamburger with an old man the other day. I'm the youngest member in our town's historical society, I'm a 25 y slash o woman, and we had our annual BBQ the other day. Well, you say free BBQ and all the old people come in packs. Most of our members are in their 80s. We should have had people set up to serve the food, but these old people were grabbing two and three hamburgers, hot dogs, beans, potato salad, etc. They weren't going to eat it all, they were just being inconsiderate, because it was free. I waited until all 150 old folks got their food, many more people showed up than we expected, and I got in line. I was last in line. Old man in his 60s decides to cut me, and try to take the last hamburger. Fuck you. I grabbed the tongs, and took it, and made eye contact with her I can't fucking believe you stare towards him. He looked very disappointed that he didn't get that burger. Just because I'm a young girl, doesn't mean you have the right to cut me in line. There were plenty of hot dogs left, so he had to settle with that. My grandpa, a veteran, used to always remind us that he fought for the war and that we owe our freedom to him. He would always go on and on about how he loved American democracy and hated the evil commies. But then he was a very bigoted racist. He wouldn't let black people into his home in Mississippi. He said they weren't Americans, but Africans so they don't deserve to stay in the country. My mom. Thankfully, didn't get his attitude, and had lots of black friends. One time, it was my mom's birthday party my grandpa surprised everyone, by arriving so my parents black friends were there. He said to my mom in front of everyone why, do you have n-word here? My mom brought him to the house, and talked to him about equality and democracy, but he didn't understand and just left. My parents apologized to everyone but their friends told them that he was an old veteran so they understand and didn't take it personally. I was so ashamed. So there, I guess old people get away by being racist and bigoted. People just understand them and let them get away with it because of their age. Had a 60 year old man driving down the wrong side of a street and reverse slam into my car a few years back. He got out of the car and immediately started shouting his head off about how I got in his way and how young people don't know how to drive properly. I remained as calm as possible but ready to roundhouse kick him in the liver spot on his forehead if he were to try to get physical, but he kept it to words luckily. I suggested we call the cops and he obliged. I called the police who arrived soon thereafter, and we both explained our sides of the story. The man's basic reasoning was that because he was older than me, I was clearly at fault. 
he prefaced his honest rendition of the story of him going in reverse down the wrong side of the road with this. The guy seriously thought this was a legitimate argument. The cop side basically called the guy an idiot, and he was determined to be completely at fault. Eventually his insurance had to make a payout to repair my car. Anyway, this was just one experience so of course I can't speak for every elderly person. My cousin who works as a nurse absolutely hates the elderly, but that's probably because she encounters a lot of sick elderly people who are in pain, and being in pain constantly can turn you into a prick, no matter what your age is. A large portion of the state of Florida, the retired portion, has a fuck you kids. I earned not having to be polite or respectful towards anyone under the age of 30 by getting old attitude. Lots of communities even have a no kids policy. WTF. Oh, old people. I work with an attorney who does estate planning exclusively. He's a nice guy but a bit scattered, so I do a lot of carolling around the office. My office space is a small loft accessible by a spiral staircase. We had some old people come in. They are 15 minutes early. I lean over the rail and say, I will be writ down. Come down, seat them in the conference room, offer them coffee, and tell them, you're a few minutes early, but I will let him know you're here. I tell the attorney and he's instantly flustered, but we have most of the stuff set up already. Then he decides to change something. Well, I'm in my office, which is open space above the foyer of the rest of the office, wearing headphones so I don't have to listen to my office mates while I work on something else. I suddenly get the feeling that I'm being watched. I turn to see the old people standing in my office. The is a very dangerous staircase, they say. It is not, but this is a restricted area I tell them, pointing out the employee's only sign. It is dangerous. We could have fallen. Where is the attorney? We've been waiting for over 15 minutes. I look at the clock. It's 2 minutes past the hour. I remind them that they were early, and that he was almost ready, and to kindly get foe of my office, before they broke a hip. The attorney was in the conference room and very confused as to why it was empty when I brought them back. He asked my in a low voice why I let them into my office. I told him there was no letting these people do anything, they did whatever. Entitled youth is a load of bullshit, and it always has been. The problem is that we reach an age where we tend to forget how obnoxious we were as teenagers. No offense intended, but teenagers can be a bit of a pain in the ass. They don't listen, they like weird music, they leave flaming bags on your front porch, they enthusiastically embrace new concepts and technology that seem strange to adults. We forget that we were once the exact same way, and so we respond with TSK, kids today. It will happen to a lot of you one day. You damn kids today spent all your time with your smartphones and your twittering and your dubstep. In my day it was Pages, Sega, and Marilyn Manson sending the world to hell in a handbasket, and god minute, we liked it. I'm pretty sure it was the Beatles, television, and letting black people use the public pools when my parents were kids. At one point it was probably the printing press and Lutheranism. My point is that no generation has ever been the entitled generation any more than the ones preceding it. There are entitled kids out there today, just as there always have been. They'll grow up to be entitled adults, and one day they'll be entitled senior citizens making the nursing home staff miserable. I dislike the ones that expect that, because you are younger than them, that they deserve respect regardless of their behavior. Um, no. You earn respect at all ages. I've worked in pharmacy for 4 plus years, and now specialize in Medicare billing. The attitudes I get from Medicare recipients tend to be some of the worst in terms of entitlement. Some people consider it a golden ticket for everything to be free once they turn 65. What do you mean annual deductible? Medicare covers this. I don't have a copay. My union covers my supplement. What do you mean my party doesn't cover over-the-counter vitamins? But this walker isn't the latest model, I want a new one. I've gotten screamed at repeatedly because people don't read the materials that come with their plan or just choose one at random. Medicare also has strict contracts for DME suppliers and most people get really angry when you try to explain that you can't service them because they live in an area where you're not contracted or that the product they want isn't reimbursable by Medicare. They want it now. I work primarily in the villages, a city of 100,000 plus plus senior citizens. 
90% of people I deal with on a daily basis are like this. They are always making shit up trying to get something for free. I've met plenty of nice people, but being so entitled is what I expect from every customer now, because being the nice, humble old lady type is almost like a myth to me it's so rare.